Oh, hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to give you a tour of our dining room. We recently moved and our new home has this beautiful dining room. I wanted it to be something that was useful, not formal, casual, welcoming, and still really stylish. And we were on a tight budget, so everything in the room is either from Amazon or Wayfair. And I think it came together really lovely, so let me share it with you today. So before we actually moved into the home, I was looking at the floor plan and trying to come up with what I wanted this space to feel like. The inspiration for the whole room was actually this painting that we already had in our previous home. And so that became the jumping off point for the color that was chosen for the wall, which then kind of led to everything else that's coming together. As I was researching different products, I wanted to see what it would all look like when it came together. So of course I made a sample board and this included all of the specific products that I wanted to bring into the room so I could see what they would feel like all in the same space together. There was many iterations of this sample board, but when I landed on this one, I quite liked it. And so this became the final product. It was really important to me to have a really large dining room table. We've never had a dining room before and we've never had the ability to sit a large crowd around one table. And we always have people over and we love sharing meals with people. So this was a really a priority. I wanted something that was wide enough that we could put lots of platters of food on the table and still have plenty of space for our plates and drinks and all the things. So I literally measured the space to see what is the widest table that I could fit in there and still have room for the chairs and for people to move in and out around the chairs comfortably. We had just recently been to Italy when we purchased this home and I still had all of the beautiful architectural details in my mind in Italy. So I wanted to bring in something that had columns and the feeling of columns, which is interesting because I'm not drawn to classical style or traditional style, but I knew there was a way to do it and still feel like me. And when I found this table on Wayfair, I literally was like, this is perfect. I love the Rita details of these pedestal legs. Immediately it reminded me of some columns I had seen in Rome just with a more of a modern, fresh feel. And so I checked out the dimensions and not only was this table the perfect width to literally be as wide as possible for that room, but it also came with two leaves. So this table, just the way that it is in our dining room, comfortably seats eight, and then we can extend it two more times to comfortably seat 12. And if we needed to, we could squeeze more people around there if it was necessary. It was also black oak, and I love black grounding a space. I have black elements all through my home, which is exactly how I approach fashion. I love black in all of my fashion choices as well. So it just made sense for who I am to have a black oak dining room table. And I love that it's an oval. I didn't want any hard edges and nor did I want it to have like legs that people would be bumping into when they pull their chair up. So pedestal legs was a must. Let's just say this table checked all of the boxes and then bonus when it came time to move into our house, it was on sale for 50% off. So you know we snagged it up right away. I have linked all of these products in my LTK shop. So I will put a link in the description box below. I'm a real sucker for mid century modern furniture. There are pieces that are inspired by mid century artists all through my home. And when I saw these Cheska chairs, I was like, I absolutely would love to have those in my dining room. They don't feel formal. They are very much a mid-century modern style. The artist actually named them after his daughter, Francesca, hence the word a Cheska chair. And they come in lots of different colors. But of course, when I saw that they came on Amazon in the black velvet, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> I love how the black velvet and the black iron frame really play well with this light wood. I think it just looks so beautiful and it's warm and welcoming without feeling at all formal and stuffy, which was a win for me. So I wanted to ground the space in a really lovely area rug, but I didn't want it to be a thick pile because I, you know, pulling chairs in and out could be really annoying. I found this thin one on Amazon and not only was it the right pile height, but I love the coloring. It was something that drew from the colors in the painting, but also added in other tones and other shades. And I really love that because I wanted there to be a variety of tones in this space, even though the main color is absolutely black. And so this area rug was perfect. It's got some greens and corals, peaches, blues, grays, creams. I just absolutely love it. And it plays really well with the wall color. This wall color is called Reddened Point by Sherwin Williams. And actually I didn't realize it when I picked it, but it was the 2023 color of the year. I absolutely love this color. We decided not just to put it in the dining room, but to wrap this whole side of the home in this color. I love the depth that it brings to my otherwise very neutral home. 
Now, remember I said there was multiple iterations of our sample board? Well, one of the earlier iterations had an oak colored, a light oak colored sideboard, and I would have much rather have been able to purchase that. But by the time we came to making the purchases for the dining room, we were literally like down to scrounging around at the very bottom of our budget. And so I decided that instead of getting the oak sideboard that I wanted, I found this one, it was much, less expensive and it worked really well with the coloring of the area rug and so even though it wasn't my absolute favorite i really still love it i love that the corner edges of it are rounded as well like i said i wanted no harsh squares in this entire space and that one detail alone made me really appreciate it the rest of it's kind of hidden by the table so it doesn't really matter but i do love the final result in the space i picked up another piece of abstract art for the space because i wanted to fill it in just a little bit more and then we added some curtains that are a little bit darker than the wall color to give a monochromatic look i really love how the whole space came together all of the other decor pieces that we have in the dining room we already owned although i did get some greenery off amazon for the centerpiece and I quite like what it looks like. One of my favorite elements of this dining space is the light fixture. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of mid-century modern vibes and this light fixture totally did it for me. I love that the glass globes are slightly darkened. They're gray, smoky kind of vibes and the brass detailing. I think that it looks so lovely and I love the warmth that it adds to the space as well. Coming up in a few weeks, there's another video where I share with you some different lighting hacks that we did on our home and this dining room light fixture is actually one of them. So if you wanna know more about this fixture, come back in a few weeks and we'll talk about it a little bit more in depth. I have linked all of these products in my LTK shop, so I will put a link in the description box below. Like I said, most of the items were from either Amazon or Wayfair, so I mean, everything is super affordable and I think it came together really great and it truly is a reflection of my style and who me and my husband are and it really truly is a space that feels like us. It gets used regularly and it is functioning really well for us, so I'm very pleased overall with how it turned out and with how it functions for our family. If you like this video, Video, give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would tap subscribe and be a part of this growing community. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you back here next time at I Am Loved.